great, doesn't it, Felicia? Oh, that's just the way I remember it. Yes, but you're both here. That's what's important. Oh, well, we haven't come with good news. Oh? The treasure. Yeah, it's a long story. I know. I heard all about it. You heard what happened? Yeah. Robert Scorpio called me about returning the treasure to the Mexican government. You look happy about it. Oh, I am. I'm relieved, Felicia. It's over. <laughs> it's finally over. Oh, there you are. Good. <laughs> I've got something very important to show you. What do you got there, Mariah? Does that look familiar to you? It's a baby. It's a very special baby. Does it look like anybody you know? You know something? It has... Luke Spencer's eyes, I mean, I might be Wait crazy. Wait a minute, don't tell me that. Yes, it's Luke and Laura's baby. <laughs> well, look oh. at that little one, huh? He's got Laura's mouth. Here's Lisa Carlisle. <laughs> oh, I wish you could. Huh? No, Luke took uh, mother and baby to the Gulf Coast. He mm -hmm. thought the weather would be better for them there. Yeah. Life sure moves fast, you know? Yeah, it does. Well, I, uh, I guess I'll just take this back and put it in the album. <clears throat> What do you think about that, huh? Luke's a daddy. Um, Felicia. Hey. Hmm? What do you think about that baby? Isn't that great? Yeah. What's the matter? What are you upset about? I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. Listen, ever since we've been here, you just haven't been yourself. And I don't know what it is. Now, what do you mean you don't know what I am? I don't know where I'm going. Honey, that's the future, okay? You don't have to worry about that. There's no reason to put that kind of pressure on yourself. Yes, there is. I have to make some very important decisions. All right, what kind of decisions? Some very major decisions. How major? First of all, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want to stay here and try to restore this hacienda, or if I should go back to Port Charles, or what I should do. Are you serious? Yeah. You would actually consider staying here as opposed to going back to Port Charles with me? Oh, no, you don't have to take that personally. I take that extremely personally. But you know how I feel about this place. Yeah. I do know how you feel about this place. I thought I knew how you felt about me. And I think you know how I feel about you. You know, when I tell you that I love you, I mean that. I love you. Yeah, well, it sure doesn't seem like it sometimes. I know that you might be having trouble now. But baby, the treasure... See, that's the past, okay? You can't keep worrying about the past. Digging for the treasure, that's all over. Yes, but it's for a very good reason. Right. Okay, using the treasure to rebuild this place. Now that, that's for a good reason. But it's lost. It's gone. What about us? I, I, I really don't know. What don't you know about? Do you know what we've been through? I mean, really, think about that. We can have a life together. Do you hear me? I love you. I'm sorry, but I thought the treasure was out of my system, but... Today I just realized it wasn't. It's out of our hands, Felicia. Don't look back. It'll kill you. I better call Robert and let him know everything went okay with the treasure. Well, uh... <laughs> Robert, it's Frisco. G'day, Frisco. How'd it go, mate? Uh, no problems at all. You'll be glad to know the treasure's been completely delivered and accepted. There's, uh... A couple of people here who uh, want to talk to you. He's calling from Mariah's. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? 
Everything's going just great. How about you? I'm fine. When are you coming home? Soon. Soon. I'm not sure which flight, but uh, we'll be home soon. How's Tanya? Why don't you ask her yourself, boy? I apologize. Hi, Frisco. Yeah, we miss you. Yeah, our send our love to Felicia and, of course, yourself. And Mariah. Tell her we said hello. Okay. Bye for now. I thought you might like a little coffee. Where's Felicia? Oh, uh, she went upstairs. Oh. Did you, uh... Finish your phone call to poor Charles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I talked with Robert. He, uh... He was happy everything went well. Everything all right with the Scorpio? Yeah, just fine. Why? I don't know. You just seemed a little disturbed, that's all. I thought it might have been the phone call. No. It's Felicia. What's worrying me? She's still hung up on this treasure, Mariah. It's so ridiculous. Oh, Frisco. Look, I know my granddaughter. She hates to fail. And right now, that's what the treasure stands for. Failure. She's had a dream of restoring this hacienda for so long that you just can't let it go. She's been stubborn ever since I met her. <laughs> She'll be all right. You know, she will do the right thing with her life. Well? Well what? When are we leaving for Port Charles? Port Charles. Oh. That's a bit of a switch. Well, I never said I wouldn't go back with you. Mm hmm You just didn't want to give me the satisfaction of hearing it, is that it? Well, I just had some problems, that's all. I see. I'm talking about our goals. Our goals? Mm hmm What about them? Frisco, we'll never be happy if we don't have goals. That's what makes life complete. Well, I thought having each other was a pretty good start. Yes, it's a wonderful start, but where will that lead? Well, if you think I'm going to do teen time till I'm old and gray, no. I'm not going to do that, but I really haven't thought past that. Hmm? I think I've been setting goals all of my life. Oh, really? Well, I think I've been running away from them all of my life. It's amazing we ever even ran into each other, isn't it? You stick with me, okay? And I promise you we'll rush off to the future and we'll find the stars. How about that? And I promise you this time, we'll make it work. <laughs>